Exactly two weeks after former LMPD officer Kelly Goodlett pleaded guilty to conspiracy charges for her involvement in the Breonna Taylor case, we're learning what she admitted as part of that plea deal. Court records show she says LMPD detectives knowingly lied on the warrant that brought them to Breonna Taylor's apartment in March of 2020. This is the search warrant filled out by former detective Joshua Jaynes. It allowed police into Breonna Taylor's apartment. In a plea agreement addendum, former detective Kelly Goodlett says officers submitted crucial details knowing they were false. Goodlett told federal investigators officers did not verify with the U.S. Postal Inspector that Jamarcus Glover, Taylor's ex-boyfriend, received packages at Springfield Drive. The inspector revealed that days after the shooting and in an interview with LMPD's Public Integrity Unit, Jaynes addressed the address issue. The way that you worded that specific bullet point in your affidavit, was it your intent to mislead the, the reviewing judge? No, not at all. And like I said, I could have I could have worded a little bit differently. Proof tying Glover to the Springfield address was crucial, and officers claimed they verified he used it as his home address through multiple databases. Goodlett says herself and Detective Janes knew that was not true. Goodlett also says Janes chose to go to Judge Mary Shaw because he believed she would not closely scrutinize the warrants. Then, after the shooting, but before Janes met with criminal investigators. Goodlett says he asked her to meet in his garage. There, documents allege Jane's badgered Goodlett into standing by their false statements, saying if he went down for the warrant, she would too. How come nobody has said we got this wrong and we apologize? Activist and poet Hannah Drake says protesters pointed to this warrant all along and were persecuted for it. Now, they're vindicated, but still waiting for justice. You harmed us based off a lie that we said for months and years was a lie. And now the Department of Justice says it. And now it's, it's fact. Jaynes is one of three other officers facing federal civil rights charges in the case. All have pleaded not guilty.